that we're referencing. Yes. Uh, because it actually talks about 15 yes. uh, health conditions that might benefit from a ketogenic diet. So, but we're only, only going to cover... Right. But I thought what was nice about it is this is an evidence-based yes. magazine article. And you don't yes. find those very often. Usually they're sensationalized or they're negative about yeah. the ketogenic lifestyle. So to find one in a reputable magazine that was really positive was like groundbreaking in my yeah. opinion. So it, it, so it has, you'll see if you follow the link that it has references to studies that have been done um, and other resources that they use to draw the information right. from. This is by no means a, you know, fully detailed synopsis of anything. No, we're not, not going to be geeking out too bad here. No, it's just no. information. It's interesting information. And our hope is, is that you will then take some time to do some reading on your own, to do some research on your own, if you're interested in getting more information um, as well. So, because we've discussed before that continuing education on the ketogenic lifestyle is a real key to success, especially yes. longevity on this lifestyle. Yes. It's continuing to educate yourself. Yes. And so, again, we're just going to cover five today and let's get right to it. So, the first one um, on your list and on my list is Mel Mel Metabolic Syndrome. Mentabolic is what it feels like sometimes. <laughs> Metabolic Syndrome. So that's a fancy term for hyperinsulinemia or mm -hmm. insulin resistance. Right. So. And you will see us kind of look at notes or reference the article. Right. And so essentially you can be diagnosed with metabolic syndrome if uh, you have three, any one of the three, um, any one of the, it's actually five conditions. Criteria. Criteria, uh, large waistline, uh, 35 inches, um, and men uh, 40 for men and 35 yeah, for 40 women. for men right 35 for women uh, elevated triglycerides low hdl cholesterol high blood pressure elevated fasting blood sugar right and uh when i started keto i had you fit into this parameter. I had, right i fit right. into this parameter and it was interesting that as i started getting diagnosed the I was pre-diabetic first, right, right. Uh, as they were looking at numbers, so I was classified as pre-diabetic, right. and then eventually, as time progressed, I was, I guess, full labeled full-fledged uh, type two diabetic, right. and put on medications. And so, uh, the ketogenic